Welcome to this episode of This Is Something. Today we're focusing on the upcoming XVM launch with Vijay Sarathi and Yasmin Khan of our XVM marketing group here at Sun. Vijay and Yasmin, welcome and thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Yasmin, can you talk to us a little bit about what XVM is and what this is that we're announcing? Sure. So Sun XVM Virtualization Portfolio is our virtualization software and we have four components of the portfolio. We have XVM Server 1.0 being launched September 10th, XVM Ops Center 2.0 uh, being launched uh, September 10th as well, and then VirtualBox 2.0, and then EDI, so Virtual Desktop Infrastructure is part of our portfolio uh, that has been around for a while, but the three uh, earlier components have new versions or are brand new, like XVM Server 1.0 is a brand new product. Okay. What are some of the business needs that XVM is solving for some of our customers? Yeah, so if you look at virtualization, the prime business need that people are looking to deploy virtualization for is consolidation. Just consolidating for power, space, <coughs> sorry, efficiency, all of that good stuff. And uh, XVM, XVM Server can consolidate Windows, Linux, as well as Solaris uh, infrastructure. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat. It's heterogeneous infrastructure. It's not just about consolidating sun systems, but about you know, heterogeneous data centers. Uh, also, the management challenge within uh, virtualizing within the virtualization context has become huge. Now, how do you manage uh, virtual machine sprawl? How do you manage physical infrastructure with virtual infrastructure? All of that stuff. So, Ops Center uh, is is designed to do comprehensive physical and virtual management and enable all of the benefits that you're looking for within the data center, such as resiliency, live migration capabilities. Uh, and uh, you know, just policy-based management, all that good stuff. So we have that in the office. Um, the other thing is a virtual desktop infrastructure, which is the ability to consolidate your, uh, your desktop infrastructure so that you have security, centralized management of desktop, centralized uh, uh, virtual desktop infrastructure. That's available as well. Finally, simplified development. You know, with VirtualBox, pretty much anybody can, uh, can create a, a laptop a lab on their laptop with uh, virtual box, which is a small footprint um, download, just something like that. So you can do that on your lab uh, on your laptop, and then deploy it into a, a, a enterprise grade infrastructure in XVM server. So uh, a number of benefits. Yeah, and you can run many, all the most popular operating systems on virtual box. So Linux, Mac OS, Windows, all of them run on virtual box. And so virtual box is actually the name of Product. The product. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. I've heard a ton of great press and buzz, like ZDNet, Information Week, CRN has been writing really positively about this the solution that we have. How does this compare to some of the other vendors out there who provide virtualization solutions? So I think uh, the key points to look at it in terms of a portfolio, it's very comprehensive. I mean, it covers the des desktop and the data center uh, comprehensively and enables a footprint for the next generation data center management as well as virtualization. Uh, beyond that, I think what we've done is, uh, is bring openness, uh, interoperability, uh, ease of use, as well as internet scale to virtualization. These are some of the attributes we're truly trying to, uh, to target. So from a uh, openness, uh, you know, XVM server is open source, virtual box is open source, freely available. Um, as well as from an interoperability perspective, this is about virtualizing Sun as well as non-Sun infrastructure. So Windows, uh, Linux, Solaris can be uh, virtualized in here, and it interoperates with other management frameworks that you have through WS Man APIs, etc. Mm -hmm. Also, we can interoperate with VMware and import VMware uh, virtual appliances into XVM. So all that speaks to the, the openness. Uh, from an ease of use perspective, all of this can be kind of, all of this virtualized infrastructure can be managed from anywhere uh, within a browser. So we made it very easy to manage uh, and, and, and reduce the total cost of uh, basically administering heterogeneous, sophisticated data centers. Yeah. Finally, from an internet scale, uh, we've really uh, used standard internet protocols and to address uh, and, and standards to make sure that this can manage infrastructure that's spread across multiple geos. Multiple locations because that's how data centers are today. They yeah. Kind of spread it, spread I even out. saw an image of someone managing it from their iPhone. Yeah, exactly. So our customers have told us they really want things to be easy, yeah. open, and scale with the internet. So that's one thing that's the core benefit or the core 
uh, infrastructure for all of our products. Yeah. We want to make sure that all those three attributes are in all our products. Well, right, and speaking to that point, basically, because we use standard internet protocols and open standards, you can use it from anywhere. I, yeah. You can kind of virtualize all your infrastructure and manage from anywhere, even, even with an iPhone. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. Tell us a little bit more about the launch, the date, we're having sure. a webcast, I understand. Exactly. So September 10th in uh, Sunbeam TV Studios in Menlo Park, mm -hmm. we are having a nine, nine o'clock uh, Pacific time. We are having an event in our uh, studios here with press and analysts. Rich Queen, our executive vice president of software, and Steve Wilson, our vice president of XVM, will be doing a live uh, demonstration of the products and speaking to again the key uh, benefits to our customers for XVM portfolio. And this will be again uh, live broadcast on the web. It'll be uh, recorded. If you do miss it at 9 a.m. Pacific time, so it'll be available for download later on. And then also we have a live chat that's available during the launch. So if you're there and you have questions for the executives, please feel free to join and send those questions in because we really want those questions. Yeah. We want customers to be, you know, talking, uh, engaging. Just engaging with us. Yeah, great. Awesome. And then in Scotland, we have another event that is going to be opening a new executive briefing center in Scotland, mm -hmm. and there we'll have VJ and our vice president of Solaris uh, there in person with uh, press and analysts in Scotland, and that webcast will be uh, simulcast to Scotland, and so we'll have two events, one in Menlo Park and one in Scotland at the same time, and so we'll have you know a great number of people across the globe. Yeah, so it'll be great. It's exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks again for tuning in today. This concludes this episode of This Is Something on the XVM Launch. If you're looking for more information on the XVM Launch, go to sun.com slash launch or go to sun.com slash XVM. Thanks a lot.